the practitioners of Islam, those who practice the religion, they do so because of their hearts that encourage them. This is simple, it's as simple as that. Didn't the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say in the famous hadith which Bukhari and Muslim narrate on the authority of An-Mu'man ibn Bashir? He said, Ala wa inna fil jasadi mudghatan idha salahat salaha sa'irul jasad wa idha fasadat fasada sa'irul jasad. Ala wa hiya al-qalb. There is a limb in the body, he said. There is a limb. If it is sound, the rest of the body will be sound. If it is corrupt, the rest of the body will be corrupt. He said that limb is the heart. So the heart is the king. The heart is what issues the commands, that gives out the instructions. These hands, these limbs, these private parts, they are simply obeying to the instruct instruction of a corrupt king or a just king. But it's the heart. So those who practice Islam, you see them. How is it that individual A is able to wake up for Salatul Fajr day in, day out, seamlessly? Sometimes he or she, they don't even need their alarm clocks anymore. They say it's, it's a built-in alarm now. We just wake up without it. And then you have individual B who cannot remember the last time he listened to his alarm and didn't pray Salatul Fajr 9 or 10 a.m. in the morning. What's the difference between them? They're both fit. They're both healthy. It's the condition of what? Condition of the heart. How is it that there may be two individuals, uh, two sisters say, for example, one of them is adamant upon the Islamic hijab, the correct Islamic hijab. She doesn't care what time of day it is. The hijab is hijab. And another one of our sisters who has a weakness, as we all do, and the hijab slips on and off according to the mood or the circumstance or the occasion. How come? The condition of hearts, that's all it is. Nothing more, nothing less. Individual A who is able to say, no, this is a haram business deal, I can't do that. Even if I've got to do a 9 till 5 and live off minimum wage, I will not put haram in my belly. No thanks. How does he, how does he do that? And then you get individual B who's falling prey to every pyramid Ponzi scheme under the sun. He doesn't care. Riba, alcohol, cheating, uh, uh, depriving people of their... He doesn't care. How come? One difference, not two, one. And that is what? The condition of the heart. So I love the words of Shumayt ibn Ajlan. Shumayt, son of Ajlan, he's a hadith transmitter and a tabi'i. He said, Inna Allah Azza wa Jalla qad ja'ala quwata al-mu'mini fi qalbihi wa lam yaj'alha fi a'da'ihi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the believer strong in his heart, not necessarily strong in his body. And then he elaborates. أَلَا تَرَى كَيْفَ أَنَّ الرَّجُلَ الشَّيْخَ الْكَبِيرَةَ الضَّعِيفَ يَصُومُ الْهَوَاجِرْ وَيَقُومُ بِاللَّيْلِ وَيَعْجَزُ الشَّابُ عَنْ كَثِيرٍ مِنْ ذَلِكِ He said, don't you see how there may be an old senile man who's weak in his body, yet he's able to fast the long summer days, and he's able to pray the long summer nights. In Qiyam, whilst the young man next door is unable to do all of that. How come? It's here. It's the condition of the heart.